to another episode of Azariel's Taste Test, where I try things out for the first time and give you my honest opinion on it. And uh, if you don't like it, you can suck my... No, 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 we're going to do that. So today we're going to be trying some drinks. Some drinks, no, not alcohol. It is a, a kombucha by GTS or GTS. Uh, see right there, it's called Alive. There's a little glare right here. And they, they had three different flavors at the store. Um, one was lemon lime, one was cola. And the third one was root beer. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not too much of a root beer guy. I just never cared. Um, for those who cared about the nutrition facts, let me zoom in over there. Same nutrition facts. So can't, can't, get, can't get the best look at it. But yeah, it's only 20 calories. All that good shit. Uh... Let's see. There we go. Should have did that with the other one. But basically, it's the same thing on the back. Like now, this one is their. Oh, right there. There we go. So this one is their line of mushroom, um, ancient mushroom elixir line right and they have reishi mushrooms turkey tail mushrooms and chaga mushrooms and it tells you back here in the back what we each of the mushrooms do how they help the body and i've been into kind of like a, my mushroom my mushroom kick you know cordyceps uh a lot of lion's mane so anytime when i seen something like this i figured okay let me uh let me give it a try. Plus, I haven't did a taste test in a while, so I figured this would be an opportune time to do it. So, there we go. So, yeah, I'm going to open these up um, and take a sip out of each of them. I mean, they're only one serving a day, so I'm, I'm going to drink one of these today and the other one tomorrow. But, um, give you my honest opinion on them. So, uh, I, th I think we'll start with the lemon lime. Now you got to be careful with kombucha because it fizzes real easy and uh i haven't shaken it but normally soon as water as soon as uh air hits it the bubbles start forming okay this is different like the lemon lime smells like mixed with smells like it was mixed with sprite oh never mind the cola was uh, a little bit different. I'm trying to be careful because the cola seems like it fizzed up a little bit. Can't really tell from the dark bottles, but cola smells like cola. All right, first lemon lime, lemon lime. Why is the get there to clear that? that Oh my god, there we go. Right there. Okay. It's actually not bad. Actually not bad at all. Um obviously the first hint of flavors that hit you is the lemon lime um it does have like that that sprite flavor base to it or that flavor profile of sprite excuse me um i don't know if they use actual i mean i think this i think you, you can kind of test it's almost like they probably like make some lime some lemon zest and some lime zest in there as well they don't say it on the ingredients but it almost tastes like they, you know, like it has a little bit of lemon and lime oil in there um, from the skins, but. Oh, never mind. That's that dark amber maple. So maybe that's what it is, but it's good, though. Um, all kombucha kind of kind of has like that. OK, never mind. oh, this isn't a kombucha, my bad. It's, about, it's made by the same company. I, I thought on the back it had kombucha in it. It doesn't. So this is more so of like a tea. Like a mushroom tea. 
Okay. I thought this was a kombucha product, but but the company GTS they're they're known for kombuchas, so that's why I thought off, off the rip. I thought this was one of, them. but it said elixir. Duh! I should have listened. But I should have paid attention. But uh, reading is fun to mental. But um, anyway, uh, cola. Let's check this out. You get the cola taste in the beginning, but then it goes into like this, I don't know what to call it, almost like a tart aftertaste. If it wasn't for the health kick, I probably wouldn't, I, I probably don't like this one. Even though I don't like root beer, you know, like I'm not a root beer guy, I haven't drunk like NW old fashioned root beer or anything like that since I was way younger, but this is um this is it's all right. I mean, like if you're a fan of cola, I think you'll you'll really like this one. But um, but yeah, I'm trying to cover this up, bro. That light, I swear. But it's all right. It's not the worst thing I've tasted. It's definitely digestible. I mean, well, it, not digestible, but it's it's certainly tolerable. You know, even if if you're not a fan of cola, but you know, it it, it definitely um knowing what it tastes like, I probably would have tried the root beer just to see if it you know what I'm saying it tasted better. But uh, I only wanted to get two of them. I didn't really, really want to get all three. I'm feeling kind of cheap. So, to be honest with you, this one is my favorite one right here. This one is my favorite one. The lemon lime definitely got my attention. The cola, it's, excuse me, a clear second. But it does hit you in the beginning with the flavors that, they, uh, that they're promoting. And the aftertaste of both of them, more so the cola than this one, it has like a, almost like a tart aftertaste af afterwards. But um, but they are pretty good for them, for what they're advertising. You know, it's pretty good. Um, plus, you get all the anti-inflammatory properties and all of the good stuff. So yeah, Alive by GTS, the kombucha maker. So get so rating the flavors, the lemon lime. I'll give it a thumbs up and. The cola, I will give it a God damn it right here. I'll give it a, a middle thumb. So that's my review of the GTS Alive Mushroom Elixirs. So ancient mushroom elixirs. So if you guys ever see it at, at your local store, go pick them up and try it. Remember, be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat, but show no mercy to drinks. See you guys next time.